Hey guys, my name is Emmerich, I'm a motion time-lapse and hyperlapse photographer and in this new video I'm going to teach you how to do some amazing layer lapse using After Effects. So let's go! Okay guys, this is After Effects CC 2018 and we're going to do a layer lapse using After Effects. So you probably saw my previous video about layer laps, which was a quick tutorial that I did on Premiere Pro. And this time I'm going to do in After Effects because I think it's a way better way to actually do it. It's easier because After Effects is actually built for that to create masking and mask and then sync everything. So I'm going to use After Effects CC, CC and I'm going to tell you um, a little bit what's the difference with Premiere and why I like After Effects better for creating layer laps. So first, what you need is actually to choose one of your time lapse. So you need a day to night sequence, obviously, because um, the goal of, of a layer lapse is to have so the background. Most of your time lapse is going to be during the day, and the uh, buildings are going to be like turn, they're going to turn night time one by one, playing with the beats and the notes of the song you actually selected. So you can either have a day to night or you can have the same time lapse during the day and the same time lapse during the night. So two time lapse. It actually works with both. I'm going to use a day to night because I have some night shots and obviously a day part in this time lapse. So let's do this first. First of all, I'm going to use this song. I'm going to use that. So this is a nice song I found on YouTube. I do not own the right. It's called Orange Wasted Fit Mila. And what I like with this song, it's like very easy to hear every single note. So it's gonna be easy to actually sync the footage with the song. So I'm gonna import this song uh, in After Effects. And finally, I need to pick up my time lapse. My time lapse, where's my time lapse? It's 629 here. So, this is a nice day to night time lapse I shot a few days ago. I think it was three or four days ago. It's very cool. And what it's actually perfect for layer lapse is that we can see every single building pretty distinctly. It's very easy to see them and it's going to be easy to actually select them. All right, anyway, this is my time lapse. I'm going to select it and drag it into After Effects. Now I'm going to right click. No, it's not it. It's I'm just going to click and drag it here to create a new composition. All right, this is pretty good. And then now I'm going to take my music and drag it on top of it. So we don't this is not actually an audio file. This is a video I downloaded from YouTube. If you have an audio file, you won't you're not going to see this thing. But I'm going to turn off the video and I'm going to select my click and you actually have to like uh, tap on the L key twice and then magical. This is magic. You can see the waveform. This is something you want because we're going to use the waveform to sync and to create the beats of the layer, of the layer lapse. So I'm going to load a little bit. I'm going to do today. I'm going to do like maybe 20 seconds of layer lapse and then you guys are going to be, you're going to understand how it works and you're going to be able to uh, use the knowledge you learn in this video to actually um, create your layer lapse on your side. Okay, so this is how it is. Alright, and so on every single beat, every single note, one of the building in my video is going to turn at night. So let's do this. I'm going to select my time lapse and I'm going to duplicate it. Command D. I'm going to go and select a night part of it. So it's at the end. Okay, right here. All right, and I'm going to drag it at the beginning. So here you can see now I have the night time lapse because the, the, the first layer is on top of the other one. If I actually mute it, you can see it comes back to the day one. Okay, so now I'm going to select one building. For example, I'm going to select the Union Bank building over there. And this building, I want this building to turn at night when uh, there's the first beat here. Boom, the first note you can hear, it's gonna be the Union Bank building. So I'm gonna select my pen tool over there, which is G on your keyboard, Z to zoom in. And we're gonna go and then do a masking around the building. 
All right, H to move your time lapse. So this is why I like After Effects more than Premiere. It's because it's actually way easier to create masks like this. And it, it's very quick to do it um, and very easy to do it. Try to be as precise as you can. It really is going to make the difference. So here I have some trees. So I'm going to try to go around the trees as much as I can. And I want to see as much of the building as I can. Here, I'm going to take the entire tree. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we're going to go back to fit. I'm going to click on my uh, layer, then F. It's going to open the mask feather, and you can be able to click maybe five or 10 pixels for like a smooth feather around the building. All right. So now, see, in like two minutes, I have one building already set up. So now the thing what I want to do is to actually sync it with the first notes. So the music starts right there. So I'm going to take the clip and move it to the first note. Okay. All right. So see if I don't do anything, it's going to stay at night all the time. So you want the building to fade out slowly um, before the actually before the next one appears. So what you're going to do is click on here mask and you have mask opacity. So the next beat is right there. The next note is here. So what I found works great is actually to go two notes after it started. So we have one note here. Hold on, one. So the second, the third note is right there. So I want my time lapse, um, I want my clip to be down, to be done by here. So here the clip has to end. So I'm going to click on mask opacity keyframe. I'm going to select zero and you can select here. Maybe like maybe few frames after it started hundred percent. So it's going to go from hundred percent to zero in like half a second. All right, there you go. It's fading out pretty slowly. All right. So this is it. We have one building done. What I suggest is you actually rename it. So you know which one it is. So you'll be able to duplicate it. So you don't have to do all the masking every time you duplicate this mask and you can reuse it later in your layer labs. Uh, so we're going to call it Union Bank. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to duplicate the original one again. Uh, uh, what you can do is actually duplicate the Union Bank. We're going to remove the mask. Okay. So now you already have the night one. So I want another one, a different building appears here on this notes. So I'm going to move it here. Okay. And let's select, um, let's select the US Bank Tower, for example. I like the US Bank Tower. Let's do a masking. So G and then we're going to create a mask around the beautiful US Bank Tower. So the prem I had on Premiere is sometimes if you're too close to the other point like this, it doesn't work. But you can see on After Effects, you can get pretty close. So it makes like, it creates some like very, um, some mask very precise. Really take your time to create the mask because it makes a big difference to have a good mask. Okay. So here you go. I have my USB tower at night. So I'm going to click F and I'm going to do like a feather, five feather. Okay, perfect. So I want the same thing. I want the, the music, uh, I want the layer to actually fade out slowly two notes after the first one. So, boom, boom. all right, so the, the note is right there. It's perfect. This is the same length. So same thing, mask opacity, 0% up. And then we're going to make like 100%, maybe a few frames after it started. All right, so let's see how it looks now. We have two. There you go. I actually like that it fade out pretty easily. So we're going to click right, uh, click, we're going to click right, rename it to US Bank. All right, next one, we're going to do a third building. Up, I'm going to rename it. We're going to do the, um, the Wilshire, Wilshire Grand, which is the one on the right with the spire. All right, I'm going to remove the mask one more time and I'm going to move it to the third beat over there. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to do the masking of my building again. I'm going to speed you up guys and I see you in a few seconds. 
Okay. So feather up five. So if you guys here knows it's my roommate. <laughs> Alright, fit. Okay. There you go. Now I have the tower. It looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, this is good. So we need two two beats to end it. Uh, uh, well, it's perfect. It's right there again. So we don't have a lot to do. Up. Oh, let's go to mask opacity. Click keyframe it, zero percent, and then hundred percent somewhere over there. All right, let's play now and see how it looks. All right, I think it looks pretty good. Already we have three notes. So obviously you understand it's a really time consuming project, but I think it's, it's very fun to do. Okay, for this beam here, I'm gonna do the Bonaventure Hotel, which is this round building here. So I'm gonna duplicate, uh, I'm gonna duplicate the Welsher. I'm gonna remove the mask and I'm gonna do a masking around the Bonaventure Hotel. Let's go. Okay, I'm done with the Bonaventure. I'm gonna do F and then I'm gonna create another mask feather of a five pixel. This is perfect. So is it on the beat now? No, we want it to be on this note over there. So I'm gonna move it over there. You can use if you want another part of your time lapse, you know, at night. Doesn't have to be the same over and over again. Poof, okay, so we need one beat. Okay, so it's right there. Okay, all right, let's see how it looks now. There you go, looks pretty good. I think it has to be one frame to the left. Okay. All right, it's pretty good. If you want to play the music full time, uh, real time, you have to do the preview like this in green. If you want the preview to be faster, just click third or half here. So it's going to make like quick preview. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, so we still have like, we have like, we have like six, six notes. All right, so you guys understand how it works. But what I'm gonna do now is I wanna do, I want, for example, all the layers to appear at once. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select maybe like this one, maybe like this note here, and I'm gonna select my four or more, depends how many you have, uh, layers. I'm gonna do Command D and move everything right below the music right here. Okay, so now they hold here. There's the same, um, they all are the top layers. So we're gonna move them to the notes. Up, we have the bottom one, the second one, oops. Up, we have the third one, and we have the fourth one here. Okay, so now let's see how it looks. There you go. So now you can see that at this note, they appears all four together. So which is pretty cool. And now you can keep doing this. You duplicate and then you create a new mask on a new building and you can get something a little bit like this at the end. All right, so I've been working on this one for maybe a few hours and you can, it's actually the same one, but it's like, it's like a lot more masking. It's like more buildings but you can understand how it works. Something that works great in a layer lapse is actually to use one building for one note. You see, you have like, I don't remember how it is in English, like A, B or something. In French, like Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. Anyway, for one sound, you take one building and for every single time you hear this sound in the music, you're gonna use the same layer, or the same building. It kind of make it look like it's someone playing piano on a city, which is amazing. And when you have a big boom, a big beat, uh, like here, use several layers. I think that works best, like right here. Here you have like a, a boom, like you can hear some bass coming in and then boom, you can see I use all the layers I had and it can make it look like 
someone is like you know pushing different keys on the keyboard uh, for for like playing this song. And I think that's what works better. Using one layer from one note, trying to use as much as you can during an entire video, and then as soon as you, have, you have, as soon as you have a different notes, maybe like a bass coming in or something louder, just use different layers at once uh, and make it look like more realistic. Try to use as many buildings as you can, even the small one. It really, it's eye, it's gonna catch your eye pretty easily. Anyway, it is guys, see if you have like some creativity, creativity in your mind, you can have, you can create some amazing things with layer laps. You can also do one with like um, a traveling shot, a sliding, a panning. If you have the same shot at night and during the day, you can easily create a layer lapse like this. You just need some time because it takes some time to create all the masking and to sync it with all the notes. But I think at the end, it's really a creative way um, to show a time lapse. It's very different. All right, so I'm, I'm actually right here, 25 seconds, when the, the girl starts singing. So I'm gonna have to find a way to keep doing with those layers. You can select everything else. I mean, anything else than buildings. Maybe you can have the freeway. Maybe the sky turns, turns like at night. So it's like very different colors, different brightness on the picture. And it's a really nice way to, to play with your time lapse. Anyway. This is it for the layer lapse on After Effects. Don't forget to share your work with me, guys. I really want to see what you create with my tutorial. Um, I'm very excited to see what people learn from, uh, from my tutorial. So just tag me, Emric Time Lapse, everywhere on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and uh, I'll see your work. Okay, guys, if you have any questions about layer lapse, time lapse, or hyperlapse, just leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I see you in the next video. Oh, wow.